Hello and welcome back to the Divine Wood server, where in this episode, I have a bunch of stuff that I want to get going with. First off, you guys came on here and there is quite a lot of buildings out here that I want to take a look at in this episode. So that is one of the things that we will do um, in this episode. Another thing is that you could probably tell that I'm a lot more geared out, as you can tell. Probably tell anyway. Um, I'll get to that in a bit. And also, another thing I wish to do in this episode is to get started with multi-block machines. Specifically, I want to get started with the smeltery, because as you can tell in here, I have a bunch of these weird dusts, and I want to convert them into ingots. I've also done some off-camera mining, and I have a bunch of resources here, and I'm hoping that the smeltery can also... Well, maybe not the smeltery, but I believe there is a grindstone ore crusher, which I believe can cross yours and make you get duplicate, I think, I'm not sure, but I guess we will find out in this episode. I also want to develop the treehouse even further, I want to add another another um, another floor and I want to finish the roof, and I think I want to finish the roof with simply leaves, um, because let's put it this way, at times, uh, I have it. the roof is a little bit leaky, but not with the water as much, more like players. <laughs> People drop down here, and that's totally fine, but I, I want the roof, and uh, I want it sealed. So, yeah, we'll probably take a look at that today as well, potentially while the machinery are working. Now, let me just get my Silk Touch Axe that I actually bought from someone for 1k. Um, let me get rid of this, because I don't currently need it. Uh, I thought I needed it, but I figured out I don't need it, uh, because I actually have access to the divine rank which is pretty cool and as you can see it gives you some pretty cool stuff like look at that sword that is pretty cool i'm not gonna read all of them but you can you can uh, you can read it if you wish it is a divine rank you can you can get on the divine woods uh, website and you can see the ranks they have available it's pretty cool but before we do that i do have something at spawn here that i we need to address we need to address, guys. This this is an issue. If we go down here to the bounty hunter, if I remember correctly, I directly said, "Do not, don't you dare put a bounty on my head." Well, guess what? I currently have a bounty on my head, with a reward of 1.3 million. Excuse me? That's a lot. Hmm. I don't feel safe anymore. All right. So Inky Boof here just gave me. A bed pet, oh dear, a bed pet, which essentially turns into daytime. So that's pretty cool, and favorite food is wool, I'm not sure how that works, but thank you. Alright, well then I paid him 1000 and he insisted and paid me back 10,000, okay, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how that works, but uh, okay, either way, now that it's daytime, how about we go ahead and take a look at how the community is going. So, we have a public mine over there, which I have actually used. It is pretty cool. Um, what do we have here? Share. Free pies. Ooh. Ooh. Free pies. I mean, don't mind if I... I'm gonna take a few. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy some pie tonight. How about that? Alright, what do we have here? Hello and welcome to my tent. I will say that is a cool tent. We just have a few... Skeletons here. Let me just uh, help you with those. And someone made a treehouse back here. I like the design of this. Hope it's alright if I just walk up the staircase here. I mean, there's no door. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. That's cool. I'm hoping to get my treehouse expanded today as well. We also have a cool looking house here. What's this? Is this a cool looking house? It's open? Whoa. I like this. This is a pretty cool design too. With a back door and everything. I also see oh wait, that's a jungle temple. That's that has definitely been looted for sure. Yep. Alright, we have an interesting um pillar here. I guess maybe just a marker. Interesting. Looks like someone is starting a construction here. Pretty cool. Oh, we have some signs. What does it say? Uh, yup, sent building help. Binary community spawner made by Legend Prime. Elfly made this building not look trash. <laughs> sent building help. If you want to donate more spawners, Legend Prime. Oh, so this is a sp spawner room. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. So you can sit here and it spawns skeletons? That's pretty cool. And I l must say, I like this house back here. Don't mind if I peek in the windows. I like it. This community is coming along very nicely. Oh, we have another house over here with a spider in front of it. I don't like it. Get out of here. Uh, we got a flag. We got this thing. Oh, wait, what does it say? Made a flag of hungry. Cheers to all my hungry mates. <laughs> cool. That's a public mind thing. What do we have here? Free bread. Oh, people are making some interesting builds here. I like it. What's this? Looks like it's under construction. Sweet. There are probably even more buildings out here, outside the uh, like the central area here. But this is cool. This is a cool. Um, this is a cool community we have going on here. If you, by the way, haven't already joined, feel free to join. The IP will be down in the description down below. Uh, come join. Come join the uh, the community that is going on here. That would be pretty awesome. Anyway, now that we have looked at a few things here, how about we get started? First off, I know there is a machine tutorial. I'm going to initiate warp to that place and uh, see what we got. All crusher, crusher stuff. Smeltery for smelting. Do I need a nether? Hmm. Magical workbench, armor forge, grindstone, Compressor. Pressure chamber makes fake diamonds. Ooh. Sawmill. Put iron log between iron bars to cut. Ore washer. Washes sifted ore into dust. Enhanced crafting table. And ore crusher. Okay. So I believe all that I need to do really is to go in here, go into basic machines, go to the smeltery. You start wondering about how about hot smelting. Act as a high temperature furnace for materials. And uh, I guess this is what we need. Nether brick, a dispenser, and fire. Okay, so that looks like we need to go to the nether. So let's go to the nether. This will be the first time we actually go to the nether. So that is going to be pretty cool. I think I peeked in here. Yeah, I saw this and then I haven't seen much else. So this is pretty cool. Uh, so basically, I need just netherrack and some nether brick. Well, I can make the nether brick, so really I just need netherrack. So I need to go far out enough. All right, this looks like an area that... Uh... All right, yeah, I, I see what they mean with the grief. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, uh, all I really need from here, I, I think it's safe to say that I can start um, taking a few blocks from here. So all I really need is... Well, that should do it, really. Um, yeah. Boom. All right, let's get back home. All right, so I need to be smelting that nether stack. Or nether stack? Nether, um, nether rack here. So while it does that, I really want to start working on the home. And I think, to be honest with you, a roof that is... Or a level that is two and a half blocks high. It's not the highest. Like it could be, it could be higher. But compared to the size of the tree, I feel like this could be a pretty good size to do things in. Like it, it feels nice, small, and homey, and I like that. All right, so we actually already have the next floor pretty much up and running. Just need to clear a few of the leaves that is in the way, like these. We want to have some headroom. And so I guess I can already now kind of start to form the next, uh, well, the next roof for this. And then the leaves can basically go on top of that. So if we clear out some more leaves and get started and kind of keep the shape from the last floor and kind of go with the branches and I think we could be on to something pretty cool.
All right, how does this feel? Not too bad. To be honest, it could do with this top layer could do with like a roof, like getting up. But I think if I remove this armor, just so I don't have the jump boost, and my head does still hit, but I mean, hmm. Yeah, I might raise it up to be honest with you. Alright, I think that is going to be a lot better. Um, okay, I think maybe this leaf needs to move a bit. Maybe this one. And yeah, I think this feels a lot better. I love the way that there's bushes here, so I think I'm gonna keep a lot of that and yeah, keep a lot of these bushes and just reinforce <laughs> with um, with some more like wood blocks here and there, branches and such. I think that is gonna make this look really awesome and have a very unique feel to it, if you will. I think, I think this is gonna be pretty cool. And then just fill out some of these gaps here with even more leaves. I feel, oh, that's, that's, that's a roof. That's, that's, that's a leak. <laughs> Get fill, fill some of this out with like some of the leaves. Just to make it even more bushy. And not to have any holes. That's like in the way. Maybe do that one, put that there. Just fill these gaps with leaves. So it's still a little bit see-through but you can't get in either or out for that matter. I think I'm gonna keep it like that for now and we'll see how it is when I start actually using it here. And I think I can live with the with the short roof here. All right, well, um, so let's get to it. The smelter. Interesting that we only have two and a half block here. We cannot have the smeltery here because it requires three blocks of um of height so what i need to do well i need a dispenser as well so i have the cobblestone just need some redstone just one should do so if i just search dispenser okay not sure why it doesn't work but all right I should be able to use a used bow. Okay, I guess that's the newer version of Minecraft where you can use a used bow. Okay then, $30 for two string. We got the dispenser. Let's put that away. Uh, we got another brick, another fence, and then I just need a flint and steel. So basically, I just need flint. Buying the dispenser would probably have been cheaper, but okay. Hmm, I can't, there's no actual flint in the shop. I guess I'll have to go mine some flint. All right, get an iron ingot. And I, um, I hope fire spread is not turned on. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a bit of an issue. Anyways, let us put a machine up here. So from, let's take a look at the book again. So flint and steel, blah, 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 facing up. Let's put it right here, actually. Right here, I feel is good. So, nether, crack, break. Actually, I would love the mas machine to be downstairs here. So, if I could just like, maybe, could I squeeze it in here? You know what, I think I might be able to squeeze it in here. Hello. All right, so I think that should do it. Slash home is just going to be a lot easier, but I think I covered that up okay well for us to be able to put this thing to use. Uh, please teleport me. All right, so I made space for that, so we should be able to do hmm. Not sure I like this, but Let's see if we can. I would really love to get it 
to work down here. But I might I might move it in the future. So if we put that. So first off, we need this dispenser facing up. Uh, up. Put another brick fence there. Okay. Now what? Did I make that right? Okay, so the way it works is I basically need access to the um, to the nether brick fence. So I think we are going to put it up here instead. I'm just not sure if I like this. I mean, it works, but it kind of sticks up over here. But anyways, let's just try it out. I want to try it out and see how it works. And then hopefully I will come up with, uh, <laughs> with a better solution until then so basically i looked at the wiki and i should be able to just let's take the gold dust i should be able to just put this in here and right click you do not have enough knowledge to understand this well then i can make the i can turn the iron dust into oh oh so it's not falling out so much eh? okay so i'm turning the iron dust as you can see into iron ingots, which is pretty cool, but apparently I do not have enough knowledge to do the gold dust. Hmm. Okay, so the community helped me a bit here, and basically it's, there's a second page to this, and as you can see there are aluminum ingots and a bunch of other ingots. Um, there's a bunch of these. So that's cool. Uh, so if I unlock this one... You start to wonder about pure gold. Okay, so that unlocked that. So now I should be able to actually use the gold dust, which is cool. Now I'm tired of this. So I am going to move it to somewhere else that is a little bit better. Uh, probably up here somewhere. And we're actually going to redstone our way out of this uh, fire issue. I'm going to be needing a dispenser. And I'm also going to be needing an observer. The observer. I can buy this item. Okay. I will make my own observer and uh, will uh, automate this fire thing. All right, I have set up a proper system here and this is going to work a lot better than before. So if we take a look right here, uh, this observer detects this block change right here, which sends a redstone signal out here, which powers this block, which then powers the dispenser. So you should be able to see that it does that. Now I put the fire out and it reignites it. Sweet, that is perfect. So now, I can take all this gold dust, smack it in here, and keep going because it will reignite the fire. That's cool. And also, apparently, if you keep smelting one gold, you get a pure gold or something. Um, so that, that 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 was not what I wanted to do. Um, but if we take like copper and uh, go here, if we take copper, that should be copper of covering it right there click to unlock there we go copper ingot discovered and boom we are now getting copper so just keep clicking there you go perfect we have a bunch of copper how on earth did you get in here all right looks like i still need to uh clear up some stuff Anyway, so I can keep doing that. Now, there is one thing that I would still very much like to have before this episode is over. Because I feel like I would love a ore crusher. So let's take a look in here. Let's go back into basic machines. Ore crusher. Uh, there we go. Crusher ore. And oh dear. This is a lot of stuff. Uh, so that requires another dispenser, metal brick fence, and iron bars. So that we should be able to make 
extremely fast. There we go, iron bars, dispenser, and... Yep, there we go, another brick fence. So if I just up here, right next to it in fact, so I need this to face up, like so, add those to the side, and another brick fence on top of it. That should be our ore crusher. That should allow me to crush this gold ore. Like so. And boom! I put five gold ores in there and we got ten gold dust in return. Which means I can now turn it into gold. I believe the higher the carat, the more pure it is, I believe. I think. And I should be able to do this with iron ore as well. So 11 iron ore turns into 22 iron dust and put that in there and keep clicking this, keep clicking and boom, we have 22 iron ingots from 11 iron ore. I love this feature. This is, I love modded Minecraft. And this has just improved the entire vanilla experience because I'm one that really likes machinery and stuff like that. So that is really, really cool. So yeah, I think we completed our task for this episode. We made two very cool machines. We upgraded the house. I think I still need to add some more leaves on the top. I'll do that off camera. We took a look at the community out here and it's turning out really well again if you have not joined yet and wish to join feel free to do so the ip will be down below in the description for you to join it will be amazing the bigger the community here the better and yeah would in general be cool and i might even sometimes sometimes i might even announce on my discord server link down below as well when i go and I record here so you guys can show up uh, i might do that sometimes but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Also, by the way, before we end, that right there. Should I put leaves onto that, onto that to make it look cool? Let me know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.